Today we're talking about a new study that's linking acetaminophen with asthma, and they've got some pretty big numbers to back it up. I'm Kimberly Walston with a breaking story for Insiders Health News. Asthma has been a growing problem for the last 30 years, becoming accelerated in the 1980s. During that time period, researchers tried to find any link they could, including improved hygiene and immunizations. But now a new frontrunner is emerging, and it's probably in your medicine cabinet. It was early in the 80s when doctors stopped giving aspirin to children because of the link to Reyes syndrome. Acetaminophen was viewed as a safer alternative for a fever, but it was right around that time that huge spikes in asthma were being reported. In 1988, a published study argued that the switch from aspirin to acetaminophen might be the cause, and that idea has only been gaining steam. In fact, with over 20 studies producing results in support of the original research, Dr. John T. McBride of Akron Children's Hospital is arguing that there is enough of a link for doctors to recommend that at-risk infants avoid acetaminophen altogether, and it's not just based on the timeline. Asthma is a chronic inflammatory condition of the lungs, and even a single dose of Tylenol can reduce the body's level of glutathione, which can drive inflammation in the airways. Also, in a 2008 analysis of over 200,000 children from 31 countries, researchers found a 50% greater risk of developing asthma if you had taken acetaminophen during your first year of life. So what's the answer? Should you steer clear of another pain medication for your child? Well, at least you know some of the risks involved when you're making your decision. Without any fully conclusive evidence just yet, it's simply worth a conversation and probably a little cutback. That's it for this edition of Insiders Health News. I'm your host, Kimberly Wallison, and remember, it's your health. We're just helping you think outside the docs.